field playing deep. You know, Shulafan and Wright and Ulrich in center, respecting the power of Levine. Payoff pitch, line drive, left center. That'll drop in front of the left fielder, Forte. Fergus is going to try for a home, and he slides in safely. Great base running by Kate Fergus. He never stopped his stride around third. He was going home the entire way, and three singles to start the game for the Colonials. They lead one nothing. Fergus lines it fair down the left field line. Frechette will come home and score. Fergus hustling to second. He will stop there. And a two-out RBI double for Kate Fergus. He's two for two. And GW leads 3-0 here in the second. Now Fergus at second for Dean Mazzo. He lines one in the left center. That'll drop. Fergus will come home and score. And the top of the order is doing damage here for GW today. 4 nothing on Tommaso's second hit of the day. Richie playing second base here today. He's out of Medford, New York. Grad student. Transferred over from Brown University. He led the Bears with a 333 average in the short season. It's this one well to left center. Fergus was shaded over towards right field, so that'll one-hop the wall. Chufo will get to second, and that's the start that the Spiders were looking for. The nine-hitter with the double, and now he turns it over to the top of the order. See what they want to do with Spray Galat over at first base. No stolen bases for him on the season. Trust the bat of Blakely to put it in play. 3-2, runner does go. Blakely grounds one. Past the shortstop, DiTomazzo. Sprague Lott on his way to third. Slides in safely. And Blakely will remain at first base. So they did have the hit and run on on a 3-2 count. Sprague Lott read it all the way, going first and third. And Richmond cuts into the lead. It's 4-1. to one. And still just one out here in the third. Urban Manis, quick look over to first. 2 1 pitch. Line in the right field. Three hit game for DiTomazzo. Frechette trying to go first to third. He gets there safely. And runners on the corners now for Noah Levine with two down. Got another one over there 90 feet away. Lex, the squeeze is on and it's going to work. Urban Manis bobbles it and Lex is safe at first. What a beautiful call and beautifully executed play all around. Lex dropping down the bunt, Barmakey and running home, and GW has things clicking here at home in game one. I don't want to it, but we'll tell you how we got here. It all started with Steve Barmakian's RBI triple. You see Don Baselli flying around third after he was hit by a pitch. And then there's the suicide squeeze by Logan Lex. The pitcher, Argaman, is unable to handle it. Lex got aboard first base safely. And GW, with their third two-run inning of this game, they had two in the first, two in the second. They have two in the fifth and could add on to that with runners on the corners and just one out. Ipsman hits this one well. Right center field, Fergus. Leaps at the wall, can't make the catch. Blakely had to hold to make sure it wasn't caught, but he will race home. And Richmond gets their second run of the day, an RBI double for Johnny Hipsman. These are the two best offenses in the A-10. Richmond comes in with a 300 team batting average, which is also good 20th nationally. Division One college baseball and George Washington a 306 team average, which is good enough for 13th nationally. So both these teams like to hit. Yesterday was a very competitive game as GW won on a walk off single by Dominic Baselli. Tone will pump in strike one. We are underway. 1201 first pitch. As we face the center fielder, Wyatt Ulrich. Ulrich. 
Ulrich is a grad student, 6'1", 170 pounds, out of Indus, Minnesota. He is the leadoff hitter for Tracy Woodson and this Richmond Spider team. Cone just misses on the outside corner. Really good two-strike pitch. Cone a 4-2 record this season for GW. 4.10 ERA and 48 and a third innings pitched. He has 54 strikeouts. And he's eyeing a strikeout here to start the game. Richmond 16-13 on the season. They're 2-7 in A-10 play. GW 23 and 13 or 12 and 5. In the Atlantic 10, second place currently behind VCU, who is 13 and 3, trying to keep pace with the Rams. Gorgeous day here in Arlington, 72 degrees. A doubleheader today, so both seven inning ball games. Second game will start about 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one. 2-2 Two -two count here to Ulrich with Jared Sprague-Lott on deck. Who had a great game yesterday. Sprague-Lott was 2-for-5 with a couple RBIs. Two 2-2 -two pitch. Tried to go back to that inside corner, but Ulrich... Did a good job to foul it off. He's only struck out three times this season as Wyatt Ulrich in 71 at-bats. And you can see why. With two strikes, he just kind of gets into defensive mode, chokes up on the bat. Just looking for contact. Lays off on that pitch that just missed above the zone and runs full. So from 0-2 to 3-2 here to start the game. Robert Lynn, the home plate umpire, calling balls and strikes. Mike Pri Mark Price over at first. Jack Cox at third. Three-two pitch. That one will miss outside. A great at bat by Wyatt Ulrich to start the game. Cone right away has to go to the stretch to work with Sprague Lott, who has a 476 batting average. He's 30 for 63 on the season. Curveball and a good one. Drops in there for a strike. Runner goes. This one's fouled off over towards the Richmond bullpen. So once again, Cone gets ahead of the hitter 0-2. Oh, Both of these teams come into this one in opposite directions. Richmond lost six of their last seven. GW, meanwhile, winners of four straight. They're 15-10 and 10 here at home. While Richmond on the season is just two and four on the road. Richmond had some COVID issues they had to deal with in April. Weren't able to play for a couple weeks. Throw over to first. Ulrich has five stolen bases on the season, so definitely have to keep an eye on them. You already saw that he tried to steal earlier in the count. Cohen again will throw over. Harrison Cohen out of Seosset, New York, the Cold Spring Harbor High School. Redshirt junior, six foot, 190 pounds, they list him at. One, two to Sprague Lot. Check swing. The appeal to first, and they'll say he did not go.
2-2. Again tried to go up in the zone, but once again, Spraglot would not chase. So two hitters in a row. Cone was ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes. And both Ulrich and Spraglot have worked it to full counts. So another 3-2 as Cones had to throw 15 pitches to the first two hitters. Throw home. Right center field. Lex is there called off by Fergus. Cade Fergus will make the catch for the first out. So anytime you get Jared Sprague lot retired, you will take that. First out for Cohen. As he will deal now to Drew Blakely. Blakely right back to Cohen. A chance for two. There's one. The throw to first. A 1-6-3 double play ends the inning. Just what Cohen needed after that pitch count was getting up there to the first two hitters. No score from Arlington. GW coming to bat. 